A former Seattle Supersonic now charged in a shooting. New at 6, what we've learned about the charge filed against Sean Kemp. Plus, plans to remove the Bateman Island Causeway, the city of Richland voicing concerns specifically about drinking water. And a beautiful start to the weekend. But light showers and warmer temperatures are expected for the weekend. Jason will tell you what's ahead with his first alert weather forecast. Now, Cap KVU local news at 6. We begin with breaking news. Desert, uh, Desert Hills Middle School is responding to this video that raised concerns from parents when it was posted on social media. The video appears to show students and school staff participating in a game that involved licking two sides of a plastic barrier. Tonight, a student's parents sent us this response that had been emailed by the district saying the activity does not have district approval and will never be repeated in the future. The letter adds, after an investigation, it is clear that the intent of the activity was innocent. The superintendent says the district is taking corrective measures, but they will not be disclosed. Also, growing concerns over a proposal to remove the Bateman Island Causeway from the Columbia River in Richland. Reaction tonight over the potential river impact if it is removed. Thank you so much for making us a part of your Friday evening. I'm Madeline Hagen. And I'm Riley Fitzgerald. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has a proposed plan to breach the Bateman Island Causeway. They're citing environmental concerns as reason to remove the walkway. Yeah, but the city of Richland, who leases that land, has some worries of their own about the proposed project. One of them is drinking water. This week, the city's deputy city manager sent a lengthy letter to the Corps in hopes they can all come up with a solution. Deputy City Manager Joe Schissel says they're on board with improving the environment. We're really excited about what the project can do. Um, we'd love to see water quality in Yakima River improve. But after looking through the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers draft feasibility plan to remove the Bateman Island Causeway, they have a couple of questions. There's a few things that we think that the study should still be looking at, like um, access to the island and impact to recreation, how fire is dealt with, if and when that happens again. Um, there's a sediment transport issue that we want to learn more about um, and then impact to uh, marinas and the public boat launch. Yeah. The draft report says there's decades worth of sediment containing DDT and other harmful agricultural chemicals. It goes on to say that the sediment is a risk to human and fish health, but Schissel says there's nothing to explain what the sediment could do if mobilized. Cities of Pasco and Kennewick do have water intakes about six miles downstream and they serve upwards of 100,000 customers. Um, so obviously that's something that we want to understand and make sure that everybody feels safe about the drinking water. Another concern, fires, even if there's no way to access the island by foot. We know how recreators are in the Tri-Cities, they just get places. Um, and so we need to make sure that those people are safe when they're on the island for police and fire protection. Schissel says and in the Tri-Cities there's boat. one fire boat and it can only reach about 75 feet away, which may not be sufficient for a fire on Bateman Island. The city of Richland is hoping the Corps considers their feedback and the potential negative effects removing the causeway could have. I think the fact is that the, the Corps' uh, portion of the project is really only a, a portion of what needs to happen. And there really needs to be a larger group of stakeholders that could get together and collaborate and uh, bring the resources necessary to the project. And last year, I spoke with a Yakima Nation representative who says this land was originally theirs. They'd like to see salmon populations able to move freely through the area without being preyed upon non-native by non-native fish. That letter was sent on Monday. We'll have an update once the Corps has had time to review it. Now the weather, and it's been absolutely gorgeous outside in the region, and our weekend holds the promise of slightly warmer conditions. Jason Valentine is tracking your first alert weekend forecast. All right, good Friday evening, everyone. Hope you've had a wonderful day today and have enjoyed the sunshine. Just gorgeous. As we get to our next 24 hours, we're going to be mostly clear overnight. Again, a chilly morning for your Saturday. We do expect uh, partly cloudy skies, some sunshine, but we also have a chance of seeing a little bit of light showers in places as we get into our Saturday. So maybe you have an umbrella on hand, but the showers should be quick if they do come to your area. As we get into Sunday, though, we have a chance of seeing a little bit more sustained showers, especially along the Blue Mountain region, and we are going to be warmer for our day. Today, we we're right around 60 degrees. We'll be in the mid 60s for your Saturday and Sunday, depending on where you live, upper 50s to lower 60s as well. But 
but warmer conditions right around our average for the weekend. And today, I hope you got out and enjoyed it. It has been a beautiful day, but more cloud coverage and again, showers possible for your weekend. I'll get you prepared for that in my full forecast that's coming up later in the show. But for right now, let's send it back to you. Thanks, Jason. A West Richland Road, the scene of a deadly crash, has reopened. Police say a motorcycle on Bombing Range Road and an SUV on Mount Adams View Drive crashed just before 1 this afternoon. This is right by the Benton County Fire District 4 building, for those of you familiar with the area. One person is dead and another is in the hospital. So far, investigators have not said what caused the crash. New at 6, former NBA All-Star Sean Kemp now charged in last month's parking lot shooting in Tacoma. Prosecutors have charged Kemp with first-degree assault over the gunfire in the Tacoma Mall parking lot on March 8th. No one was hurt in the shooting. At the time, Kemp's attorneys said he returned fire in self-defense after he tracked and tried to retrieve a cell phone stolen from him earlier. A probable cause statement by Tacoma police disputes the claim that someone initially fired at Kemp. It also indicates some of his statements were not backed up by video evidence and indicates a text message sent before the shooting demonstrated his intent. Kemp, uh, Kemp, Kemp's arraignment now scheduled for May 4th. We have an update tonight on an armed burglary investigation in Richland from last May. Richland police say 43-year-old Joshua Baymeyer pleaded guilty to robbery and assault charges along with illegally possessing a gun. A judge sentenced him to 28 years. Police say the suspect burglarized a location on the 1900th block of Hood Avenue, then shot a man in Benton City to carjack his vehicle. A 29-year-old associate, Cody Lehigh Wood, also pleaded guilty to robbery and burglary charges for his role in this initial incident. A judge sentenced him to more than three years. Today, the Washington State Legislature officially gave final approval to a second high-profile gun control proposal, which now goes to Governor Inslee for his signature. Senate Bill 5078 would make it easier for victims of violence to sue gun makers and gun sellers. Advocates say the proposal will make sure that gun makers are advertising their products responsibly and gun sellers are doing everything they can to make sure their merchandise doesn't end up in the wrong hands. They this comes after the legislature approved another gun control proposal requiring safety training and a mandatory waiting period before you can take a gun home. Governor Inslee requested both and is expected to sign them. It's not clear when the governor will opt to review these gun control proposals. The Seattle Times reports the governor's office is expecting more than 450 bills to need a response from the governor during this legislative session. Now, most of those are adjustments to current state law. For example, several proposals that the governor signed this morning focus on updating policies and rules about health care workers. The goal there is to make sure that hospitals have as many people available to work as possible. But the governor also signed a new law loosening the rules on city and county tax money. Now, all cities and counties, regardless of size, have permission to use existing revenues to support affordable housing needs. This change also gives counties the opportunity to expand how they can use their existing revenues for behavioral health treatment facilities. Both Benton and Franklin counties created a sales tax to fund mental health and addiction treatment services. But making those services has been a slow process. Benton County is still working on determining who should run the planned behavioral health crisis recovery center in Kennewick. Happening this weekend at the Hapo Center in Pasco is the Men's Expo. Organizers say the Men's Expo features local businesses that cater to a male audience, but they say this is a family event. Yes. It's exactly what you'd expect, Maddie, and more. Organizers of the Men's Expo say it's time to get your man on. After seeing how successful and long-standing the Women's Expo was in the Tri-Cities, they made one catered to a male audience, also with a family-friendly experience. It is just basically a marriage to the other side of the Expo that's been going and being so popular. The Men's Expo has exactly what you might think it would have. 
a beer garden, guns, strong men lifting weights, tanks, but there's something more. The not-so-talked-about idea of men's health is represented at the Men's Expo as well. We, of course, want to cover everything in the wide range of a man and a man's health, um, which is probably one of the most overlooked things uh, just due to uh, poor culture upraising. Uh, we want to change that mentality and uh, get people not only mentally healthy, physically healthy, but uh, out in the community and happy. One of those organizations on the hunt for a continued push in men's health is Tomorrow's Health, a newer service in the Tri-Cities offering a menu of laboratory medical testing. And to make it accessible and a communication, like it's not taboo to say, oh, I'm going to go get my, my cholesterol tested. Do it. It's so empowering. Amy House is the marketing director with Tomorrow's Health, and she says there's a need for representation, but in some younger generations, she's seen the stigma of men not caring about their health care is starting to go away. I see the rising generation, the 20 and younger even, starting to know, okay, I have to take care of this. I'm not going to have a quality of life if I don't. She says even with other generations, there's starting to be a rise in interest with an emphasis in self-care. My age group is starting to break free from some of the past um, societal constraints and saying, okay, it's time to take care of yourself and you have the power to do it and the legal right to. Tomorrow's Health is offering a drawing at the event this weekend for free men's health and wellness testing. Amy House says she'd love to see more care represented as well, like mental health care at the Men's Expo. Looks like a fun event to go to it this weekend. It certainly was. <laughs> <laughs> well, signs of spring are all over Washington. Learn details about the Trout Derby that starts later this month. The details on that ahead at 6.30. Also, wildlife officials investigating after someone shot and killed a gray wolf in eastern Washington. Now ranchers are sounding concerns about the threat one pack poses to their livelihood. That's also new at 6.30. Plus, athletes lace up for a busy weekend in the Tri-Cities, the two events that will draw local interest. You're watching Cap KB Local News at 6. An accident can shatter your life. At Tamaki Law, we put your life back together. As a personal injury attorney, I meet some of the best people under the worst of circumstances. They come to us suffering. They completely depend on us. That's why we work hard and fight for the justice they deserve. If you've been seriously injured, call to Maki Law and get your life back. Shelter out here, it's the most important thing. But the good thing is my Ford F-150 provides enough power to keep working. Get a great deal on an F-150 only at your local Ford dealer. Come shop the largest selection of RVs in the Tri-Cities at Appleway RV. See big on Class A's, Class C's, travel trailers, toy haulers, and fifth wheels. Shop America's top brands, Rockwood, Tiffin, Newmar, Dynamax, and more with a huge selection of pre-owned RVs. Plus, get maximum value for your trade, all with no payments for 90 days. Come shop the clearance event at Appleway RV Pasco. Homeowners, Washington is moving to renewable power. Consider an investment in green energy. Rooftop Solar with Solar Power Northwest, a true one-stop shop. Solar Power Northwest, a better way to solar. After driving cattle in the 1880s, hitting the hay could be a literal experience. But some lucky cowpokes got to sack out in a brand new Sealy mattress. And after 140 years, Sealy is still delivering a great night's sleep. That's why Denver Mattress is proud to offer the Sealy Posturepedic Plus hand-filled mattress. And right now, save up to $250 and enjoy posturepedic support where you need it most. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Sealy. Want to drive? Really? Most of us agree our roads are safer when we put away our phones. But we still have some people to reach. So spread the message. Okay. And set the example. Because that's how we make the road a safer place for you and your loved ones. Together, we get there. Put some spring into your step with great floors. Shop exclusive specials throughout our showroom on carpet, luxury vinyl, and cultivated wood. Save on Karistan carpet, only $20.23 for a whole home installation. 
Our huge selection and expert team are here to help you recreate the perfect look and feel of your home. Great Floors offers 12 month 0% financing, so you are free to select the exact flooring you want. Visit a showroom today and live life on Great Floors. That sound. Wolves. Boy, they sound hungry. Load up, wolves! Good thing this Ford Explorer has Sync 3 technology. Keeps them entertained on the way to dinner. Get a great deal on an Explorer, only at your local Ford dealer. Portion of Cap KV sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Athletes from all around the Pacific Northwest are flocking to the Tri-Cities this weekend for two big sporting events. The National Softball Association of Washington's Icebreaker Girls Fast Pitch Tournament in the 60th Annual Pasco Invitational Track and Field Event. A combined 4,500 players, coaches, game officials, and spectators are expected to come from out of town, generating an estimated $955,000 in visitor spending. Hector Cruz, the vice president with Visit Tri Cities says big events like these spark a lot of movement in the community's economics. Uh, it helps our hotels so this uh, weekend our hotels are full. Uh, we're seeing a lot of compression in the market uh, so pe people are staying at the hotels, they're eating at the restaurants, uh, they're dining and uh, just having fun and checking out our attractions here. Not only that but once they stay here they can be the first time that they experience uh, what there is to see and do here in the community and they'll want to come back for maybe a weekend getaway as well. This will be one of the National Softball Association of Washington's largest tournaments with 70 teams coming from the Pacific Northwest, Alaska, and Canada at various ballparks in the community. The Pasco Invitational will be hosting more than 1,400 track and field athletes from 75 teams at the Edgar Brown Stadium and the John Crawford Track in Pasco all day Saturday. Well, if your child's ever wanted to operate heavy machinery, now is their chance with the annual Dozer Day event coming up this weekend at the State Fair Park in Yakima. Kids can check out a full on construction site and with some help and careful supervision, operate bulldozers, dump trucks, cranes and much more. They'll also have a chance to explore fire engines, ambulances and SWAT vehicles. Organizers from the Central Washington Home Builders Association say it's not just fun, but functional. The goal of this event is kind of the earliest stages of workforce development. Um, it, we're really excited to get kids enthusiastic about driving heavy equipment. The event is open from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Saturday and Sunday at State Fair Park. Tickets are $10 each for everyone, but kids two and under get in for free. And also this weekend, an event sure to please rock and fossil fans. There's a gem and mineral show happening at the Holiday Inn on George Washington Way. It's hosted by the Richland Rock Co-op, and this event is also family friendly. The organizers have traveled around the world to stock unique gems, fossils, and other geological finds. The show lasts through Sunday. Now, Cap KVU First Alert Weather with Jason Valentine. Uh, good Friday evening, everyone. Welcome to the weekend. Hope you had a wonderful day today and what a nice start to our weekend, though. Changes are on the way tomorrow. Quick weekend rain is very possible and we could see a little bit of sustained showers as we get to uh, Sunday afternoon for the blues and possibly the mid Columbia. It is going to be warmer this weekend. We're finally going to get back to our average and then have you heard this before? We're going to be cooling down in our next work week. So our future cast very nice into our overnight period. But as we get to tomorrow late morning hours, widespread band of just some light showers and that will continue into the afternoon and into the evening hours. We'll start to settle down in our overnight period in heading into Sunday, but then more substantial showers are possible again in the morning. Then as we get to the afternoon, we have a bit of a band, just like we saw a couple days ago in the Blue Mountain region, a Monday night with more shower activity and heavier cells coming through. And this is persisting into the evening hour. So that could persist also a little bit into the morning hours on Monday. So just a little bit of shower activity again, a little bit more maybe intense for the Blue Mountain region 
as we get to Sunday evening. So our temperatures as we get into our weekend right at the average for the tri cities, which is 66. So that means upper 50s, mid to lower 60s for all of our cities. But we are going to be cooling down to around five or so degrees cooler in our next work week. So we just can't seem to get that heat bump, at least so far in the season of spring. Our winds are going to be light tomorrow. They were pretty much light today. They're going to slowly pick up on Sunday and for our next work week. We're going to be between 10 mile per hour and could be up to 20 mile per hour sustained winds. So a little bit of breezy conditions in our next work week with those bit of cooler temperatures, but still no real wind events are expected here for the next seven days at least. So today nice and warm, but still below our average for our day, uh, about five degrees off for Yakima and we're right around it for our overnight low. So we head to the tri cities five below our average and right by it for our overnight low. So folks, we're going to see those averages though start to come through this weekend. So our countdown tax day just four days away. Everyone the NFL draft on ABC is just two weeks from yesterday, 13 days away and Mother's Day is a month away. So plenty of time to plan how to pamper mom. All right, in our overnight period, we are right above that freezing level, a little bit warmer than it has been, and it's very calm overnight. Uh, again, light winds into your Saturday. So we will see some sun breaks on your Saturday, but do expect some quick showers uh, late morning into the afternoon and evening, but highs right around the averages for all of our cities, mid to lower 60s, upper 50s. Still, you're going to find some niceness in your Saturday. Should be an all right day, just a little bit of showers, but some sun breaks here and there. Seven day forecast for the tri cities again, mid 60s through the weekend. Then we're right around, let's just say the 60 degree mark for our next work week. More sunshine than not for the week ahead, but again, little chances of showers, which look to persist into our next work week. Overnight lows well above the freezing mark in the Yakima region right around 60 degrees through Sunday and then mid to upper 50s for our next work week. A little bit warmer as we get to Friday. So folks, hope you enjoyed the sunshine today. We're going to see much more cloud coverage for your weekend. Light showers possible tomorrow late morning into the afternoon and evening and then Sunday morning light showers followed by possibly sustained showers for the Blue Mountain region as we get to Sunday afternoon. But it is going to be warmer starting tomorrow. Monday morning, Chris Evans is here live. Then look who's coming live to GMA next week. Emmy winner from Abbott Elementary, Cheryl Lee Ralph, Woody Harrelson and Justin Thoreau, and Ray Romano. I yeah. love it. All on. Good morning, America. At the Blue Mountain Station Cooperative in Dayton, Washington, we offer you the Pacific Northwest's finest local products. Fresh baked goods, locally grown produce, artisan cheese, fresh roasted coffee, wine, honey, and so much more. We invite you to explore Dayton today. Make an experience this weekend to Vapiano. Relax in the country, experience the wine, and share in the joy. Vapiano awaits you and your friends. Make it a day to remember. Vapiano Estate and Winery. Slow down, enjoy the journey. Dear Road Rivals, you may have four wheels, headlights, and a similar build, but our resemblance ends right there. You see, the Camry's been named best selling car in America. But cheer up, wannabe twinsies. If you try harder, maybe you can catch up. Later, Toyota. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our no-cost maintenance plan with roadside assistance. Visit your local Toyota dealer to learn more. Reserve yours at toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Whether you're looking for your next house plant, getting those spring flowers in the ground, or planting your dream garden landscape, Queensgate Gardens is the place to go. Queensgate Gardens in Richland. Let's grow together. Homeowners, Washington is moving to renewable power. Consider an investment in green energy. Rooftop solar with Solar Power Northwest, a true one-stop shop. Solar Power Northwest, a better way to solar. What attracted me to working at McCurley is just how much I do for the community. I and mean, they do a lot for therapeutic riding of Tri-Cities, which I have a personal connection with. My son, Caden, he has autism and he goes there. What I love most about what I do is I am a champion for my customers. We care about our customers and making sure that they get into the best and safest vehicle possible. I'm Taylor Boyce and I'm driving change at McCurley. Find your way home and help make an impact in our community in a new Chevrolet from McCurley Chevrolet. There's no other word quite like home, because it's more than any specific place. 
It could be in the team spirit that keeps your heart pounding the whole drive over the mountains. It could be in the friendships that make you able to laugh at yourself. It's a feeling, a belonging, and that's really different for everyone. So while we can't define what home is to you, what we can do is help you get there. Find your way home in a new Subaru from McCurley Subaru. Jamie Foxx's mystery medical emergency. Next extra, we have an update on how he's doing today and what's next for the movie he's shooting with Cameron Diaz. Then, succession secrets with only seven episodes to go. Next extra. Tonight at 7.30 on Cap KVU. Well, we talked about this yesterday, which was International Plant Appreciation Day. House plants can do more than just provide healthy oxygen levels. Experts say house plants can have a beneficial impact on mental and physical human health. Multiple studies have examined the benefits of house plants. Not just seeing plants that can help reduce stress and improve focus. Um, research has really shown that actually touching and smelling plants can affect our mood in a positive way. With decreased stress hormones, your vasoconstrictors, they come slowly undone and it really can actually like lower blood pressure and, and make you feel um, and, and physically be more healthy. Multiple houseplant varieties have been lauded as air cleaners. They include several kinds of palms, rubber plants, dracania, English ivy, fiscus, and Boston ferns and peace lilies. All right, so time to get some plants in your house if you don't already, right? 100%. <laughs> All right, you're watching Cap KB Local News at 6 o'clock. We'll be right back. Portion of Cap KB sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. The last thing you want people thinking about when they're in their golden years is money. We have a new family member living with us, which is my mother-in-law, Kathleen. She has had MS since my husband's been six. We have our caregivers that come into the home and help out with her. She gets showers every day. Walk Cares is a really unique program. As you get older, you're still cared for and you're still valuable. It's just great to know that if you need it, Walk Cares will be there for them. At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now through June 30th, receive rebates up to $2,100 off on a new Dyke and Fit system when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. When it comes to supplying the farm, come to Northwest Farm Supply. Your hometown store has a wide selection of everything egg related. Plus, we're the largest Purina dealer in Hermiston. Products you trust from people who care. Northwest Farm Supply in Prosser, Hermiston, and Othello. Jamie Foxx's mystery medical emergency. Next extra, we have an update on how he's doing today and what's next for the movie he's shooting with Cameron Diaz. Then, succession secrets with only seven episodes to go. Next extra. Tonight at 7.30 on Cap KVU. Your roof protects your home and family every day. Shouldn't it be the best roof possible? With Air Roofing, a family-owned business in Prosser, you'll see why our customer reviews speak for themselves. No job too small, big enough to take care of your roofing needs. Air Roofing, a company built on quality and reputation. At West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental Pasco, we are open from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, plus Saturdays for when the week gets to be too full. West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental Pasco, stunning smiles for the whole family. Okay, I think we're all aware that most cell companies only give you the lowest price when you sign up for multiple lines. What? Multiple lines? Hello? Yeah, uh-huh. One sec. But U.S. Cellular gives you just one line for $29.99 with unlimited data. Just one line with unlimited data. So you don't have to get more lines than you no, need. No, you hang up. Are you even listening, guy who never looks up from his phone? Oh, not for me. I just say it. Okay, so no, no, you're not listening. Get one line for $29.99, plus every plan is price protected. U.S. Cellular, built for us. There's no other word quite like home, because it's more than any specific place. It could be in the team spirit that keeps your heart pounding the whole drive over the mountains. It could be in the friendships that make you able to laugh at yourself. It's a feeling, a belonging, and that's really different for everyone. So while we can't define what home is to you, what we can do is help you get there. Find your way home today in a new Mazda from McCurley Mazda. Want to drive? Really? 
Most of us agree our roads are safer when we put away our phones. But we still have some people to reach. So spread the message. Okay. And set the example. Because that's how we make the road a safer place for you and your loved ones. Together, we get there. New at 6, a new fire chief named for the city of Walla Walla. Fred John Knowles will assume the leadership role starting April 24th, that after the retirement of current chief Bob Yancey. According to the city, Knowles joined Walla Walla Fire in 1992 as a student firefighter and worked his way up through the ranks to chief. All right, a big congrats to him. Yeah. Well, a blend of wine and art coming up. Details on the event taking place this weekend. Plus a mystery on the campus of Washington State University in Pullman after the discovery of a dead body near a residence hall. Also the latest in the trial of an Idaho mother accused of murdering two of her children. The news at 6.30 starts right now. Now, Cap KVU local news at 6.30. Northwest Harvest opened its free grocery store in Yakima last week and has served more than 2,600 families in just four days. Yeah, that's a lot. Cap KV's Emily Goodell tells us they're having to make some temporary changes to the Fruitvale Community Market to keep up with demand. Northwest Harvest officials say they're getting at least 650 families at the Fruitvale Community Market every day they're open. Far, far uh, more people than we anticipated at least coming all at one time. They say it's not a supply issue. We are absolutely not running out of food. You'll see we've got so much food here. We've got deliveries coming in each morning. And while they could always use a few more volunteers, they say the problem is there's not enough parking in the lot or on the street. Not enough to be safe. We want to ensure we are good neighbors to the businesses on either side of us. And so we needed to take a pause to uh, reevaluate, put some solutions in place and keep people safe as they're coming to access food. For now, that means the front door will be close to shoppers, but the drive through window is definitely open. The drive through window that we always envisioned having as a part of the market, this allows us to better um, accommodate the traffic flow. Drivers enter through the distribution center parking lot on J Street, get a card directing them to the parking lot, section A, B, or C, and go through one letter at a time to get their food. Today we've got apples, oranges, bananas, limes. In our shelf-stable bags we have masa, black beans, a can of refried beans, oats, canned vegetables, canned soup, peanut butter, and canned fruit. If you don't have a car and aren't able to come up to the drive through you can still walk up to the front of the building where people will be able to hand you out your bags through the front door. It's a complication they didn't anticipate, but it validates what we had believed, which was that the need for an additional point for people to access food is very high in our community. In Yakima, Emily Goodell, Cap KVU, Local News. They're still open Mondays and Fridays, 8 to 3, and Wednesdays, noon to 6. They hope to open the store back up as soon as possible. Now to the weekend forecast. It looks stunningly beautiful across our region, and we're looking at slightly warmer conditions. Here's Jason Valentine with the first alert forecast. All right, good Friday evening, everyone. Hope you've had a wonderful day today and have enjoyed the sunshine. Just gorgeous. As we get to our next 24 hours, we're going to be mostly clear overnight. Again, a chilly morning for your Saturday. We do expect uh, partly cloudy skies, some sunshine, but we also have a chance of seeing a little bit of light showers in places as we get into our Saturday. So maybe you have an umbrella on hand, but the showers should be quick if they do come to your area. As we get into Sunday, though, we have a chance of seeing a little bit more sustained showers, especially along the Blue Mountain region, and we are going to be warmer for our day. Today, we we're right around 60 degrees. We'll be in the mid 60s for your Saturday and Sunday, depending on where you live, upper 50s to lower 60s as well. But warmer conditions right around our average for the weekend and today I hope you got out and enjoyed it. It has been a beautiful day, but more cloud coverage and again showers possible for your weekend. I'll get you prepared for that in my full forecast that's coming up later in the show. But for right now, let's send it back to you. 
New at 630, a man found dead on the campus of Washington State University in Pullman. That discovery Thursday morning near a residence hall. WSU police say officers responded to a call from the Stevenson Hall complex and found a man's body on the south side of the building near some trees. It's unclear if the man was a student. The Whitman County Coroner's Office was called. They came out and were conducting a joint investigation at this time to determine um, the cause of manner of death. Campus Police Chief Gary Jenkins says there's no active threat to the WSU community based on the info police have. The man's family has been notified. His identity will be released later by the Whitman County Coroner's Office. New testimony from a key witness in the trial of Lori Vallow Daybell. She's the Idaho mother accused of killing her two children as part of a doomsday religious cult with her husband, Chad. An update from ABC's Andrea Fujii. In court yesterday, Melanie Gibb, described as Lori Vallow Daybell's former best friend, testified about Lori and Chad's extreme religious beliefs. She shared with me that he told her that they had been married in another time period. Gibbs said Lori believed her kids were zombies and that her son JJ was possessed by an evil spirit. She told me he would, you know, climb up on the refrigerator and go top of the, um, the cabinets and he was acting um, just more aggressive. Prosecutors also played a phone call Gibb recorded where Gibb is heard asking Lori and Chad about JJ's whereabouts. Where is he? I've been asking, where is he? I can tell everything where JJ is right now and that would not be good for JJ. The children's bodies were found on Chad's property months after they went missing. Gibb, during cross-examination, tried to distance herself from the notion of zombies as the defense questioned her own religious beliefs. You were involved in some of these uh, uh, casting out of devils and, and evil spirits uh, with Lori, right? Correct. Okay. And during the times that you were doing these uh, uh, these castings or, uh, or, or casting out of, of evil spirits, did you ever feel like this was the wrong thing to do? Um, it, it felt very unusual. Um, it was very innocent to me. Gibb testified that Lori told her she and Chad believed their spouses were going to die and then she and Chad could be together. The couple also faced charges in the murder of Chad's ex-wife, Tammy, and Lori faces charges in her husband's death in Arizona. Andrea Fuji, ABC News, New York. And this trial is expected to last 8 to 10 weeks. Lori Vallow Daybell and Chad Daybell have pleaded not guilty. Washington's gray wolf population continues to grow. We talked about this earlier this week. Now Washington Fish and Wildlife wants to find the poacher who shot and killed a gray wolf in Stevens County. They don't know the motive and are trying to track the person through cell phone data. Ranchers in eastern Washington remain concerned about a wolf pack and the potential threat the animals can pose to their livestock. Washington Fish and Wildlife says a wolf pack is getting close to Colville. Ranchers in the area say when it comes to the growing wolf population, their hands remain tied. They take up so much of our time and energy and resources trying to fight something. Uh, my neighbors that pasture next to me, I don't know what they ended up with a, with a total headcount, but they lost a tremendous amount of cattle last year to the same pack of wolves. We've got to have a different management strategy to handle this. Um, this isn't working. A wolf should never die because it's doing bad things. And it's not to say that every wolf should die just because it's on the landscape. So it's somewhere in the middle is where we have to be. Ranchers say they don't believe every wolf should be eliminated. They just want better management from the state. Washington Fish and Wildlife remains, reminds everyone that poaching comes with penalties. Well, it is warming up outside. It's spring and almost time for local anglers to cast a line. The Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife will hold a trout derby starting Saturday, April 22nd. You have to fish at a participating lake, and there are several across the state, which you can find listed on the Fish and Wildlife website. Some of them include Dalton Lake in Franklin County, Coral Lake, Deep Lake and Rainbow Lake, or Vic Myers Lake in Grant County. In Kittitas County, Easton Ponds, Fjordy North and Mattoon Lake, along with several lakes in Chelan, Stevens, and Spokane Counties. 
Participants who catch a blue tag trout can submit the tag for a prize. It is open to anglers with a fishing license, and the contest runs all the way through Halloween, so plenty of time to catch yourself a trout. Plenty of time. <laughs> well, drinking in the beauty, an event taking place this weekend, combines art and vino. Details coming up. Also, a severe weather emergency. Parts of Florida inundated with flood waters. And we're in for an absolutely stunning spring weekend. Make plans to get outside after you see Jason Valentine's first alert weather forecast. That's next on Cap KV Local News at 6.30. Portion of Cap KV sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. An accident can shatter your life. At Tamaki Law, we put your life back together. I believe my purpose in life is to help people. My clients depend on us to fix their circumstances. That's our job. The stakes are high and we can't let them down. That's why we work hard and fight for the justice they deserve. If you've been seriously injured, call to Maki Law and get your life back. What attracted me to working at McCurley is just how much I do for the community. I and mean, they do a lot for therapeutic riding of Tri-Cities, which I have a personal connection with. My son, Caden, he has autism and he goes there. What I love most about what I do is I am a champion for my customers. We care about our customers and making sure that they get into the best and safest vehicle possible. I'm Taylor Boyce and I'm driving change at McCurley. Find your way home and help make an impact in our community in a new Mazda from McCurley Mazda. An important message for Americans age 50 to 85. How's John? Oh, much better. That was quite a scare. Got us thinking about a lot of things, like life insurance. If something happened to either one of us, we'd really be in trouble. But where can we get coverage with John's health problems on a fixed income? Go with a sure thing. Colonial Pen. Friends have been telling friends about Colonial Pen guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance for more than 50 years, and with good reason. If you're between the ages of 50 and 85, it's a sure thing. Your acceptance is guaranteed because full benefits are not paid in the first two years. You don't need a physical exam, and we won't ask about your health. You cannot be turned down. And the price? Options start at $9.95 a month, less than 35 cents a day. I don't know. What if the price goes up as we get older? With Colonial Pen, your rate is another sure thing. It will never increase. That's because it comes with something you won't find in other policies, a lifetime rate lock. The rate you start with is the one you keep, guaranteed. And you should know this coverage can last a lifetime. Some insurance policies end once you reach a certain age, not this one. As long as you pay your premiums, it's yours for life. Call the number on your screen now and we'll send you free information by mail. You have nothing to lose because at Colonial Pen, your satisfaction is another sure thing. Every policy we issue comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you've been thinking about getting life insurance to help your family with funeral expenses and other bills you may leave behind, call for free information today. There's no obligation, and you'll receive a free beneficiary planner just for calling. Same time next week? Sure thing. Call 1-800-248-6940 for your free information and your free beneficiary planner. That's 1-800-248-6940. There's no obligation. 1-800-248-6940. Call now. ABC, home of the NBA Finals. The NBA Playoffs on ABC Cap KVU, sponsored locally by Prosser Memorial Health. Learn more at prosserhealth.org. This is how we care. South Florida could see more rain after an unprecedented storm left Fort Lauderdale underwater. Yeah, the city's airport has now reopened, but cleanup is only getting started. ABC's Lindsay Watts has new images from the floods. A deluge of rain that left neighborhoods underwater and nearly a thousand people calling to be rescued. Some trapped in their cars. Water started rising. Um, I thought it was going to drown. I thought it was going to drown because I couldn't get my door open at first and the windows wouldn't go down. Florida saw more than two feet of rain in less than 24 hours. The most in such a short period of time than during any hurricane in recorded history. It was like someone like turned the faucet on over Fort Lauderdale and just walked away. Fort Lauderdale declaring a state of emergency. I've driven around the city and there's not one area of the city that has not been impacted. 
cell phone video shows water pouring through a parking garage. And elsewhere, a sea of cars stranded in all directions. Well, my car is, it got water all the way almost to the top, and I was really scared. People used kayaks and paddle boards to navigate the streets. Rescue crews combing the area, going home to home. I took off the screen so that I could leave through the window. Hundreds of people taken to shelters. While the airport is back open, some flights are still canceled, and it will take time to get back to normal operations. Now here's Jason Valentine with your first alert weekend forecast. Now, Cap gave you first alert weather with Jason Valentine. Ah, uh, good Friday evening, everyone. Welcome to the weekend. Hope you had a wonderful day today and what a nice start to our weekend, though. Changes are on the way tomorrow. Quick weekend rain is very possible and we could see a little bit of sustained showers as we get to uh, Sunday afternoon for the blues and possibly the mid Columbia. It is going to be warmer this weekend. We're finally going to get back to our average and then have you heard this before? We're going to be cooling down in our next work week. So our future cast very nice into our overnight period. But as we get to tomorrow late morning hours, widespread band of just some light showers and that will continue into the afternoon and into the evening hours. We'll start to settle down in our overnight period in heading into Sunday, but then more substantial showers are possible again in the morning. And then as we get to the afternoon, we have a bit of a band, just like we saw a couple days ago in the Blue Mountain region, a Monday night with more shower activity and heavier cells coming through. And this is persisting into the evening hour. So that could persist also a little bit into the morning hours on Monday. So just a little bit of shower activity again, a little bit more maybe intense for the Blue Mountain region. As we get to Sunday evening. So our temperatures as we get into our weekend right at the average for the tri cities, which is 66. So that means upper 50s, mid to lower 60s for all of our cities. But we are going to be cooling down to around five or so degrees cooler in our next work week. So we just can't seem to get that heat bump, at least so far in the season of spring. Our winds are going to be light tomorrow. They were pretty much light today. They're going to slowly pick up on Sunday and for our next work week, we're going to be between between 10 mile per hour and could be up to 20 mile per hour sustained winds. So a little bit of breezy conditions in our next work week with those bit of cooler temperatures, but still no real wind events are expected here for the next seven days at least. So today nice and warm, but still below our average for our day, uh, about five degrees off for Yakima and we're right around it for our overnight low. So we head to the tri cities five below our average and right by it for our overnight low. So folks, we're going to see those averages though start to come through this weekend. So our countdown tax day just four days away. Everyone the NFL draft on ABC is just two weeks from yesterday, 13 days away and Mother's Day is a month away. So plenty of time to plan how to pamper mom. All right, in our overnight period, we are right above that freezing level, a little bit warmer than it has been, and it's very calm overnight. Uh, again, light winds into your Saturday. So we will see some sun breaks on your Saturday, but do expect some quick showers uh, late morning into the afternoon and evening, but highs right around the averages for all of our cities, mid to lower 60s upper 50s. Still, you're going to find some niceness in your Saturday. Should be an all right day. Just a little bit of showers, but some sun breaks here and there. Seven day forecast for the tri cities again, mid 60s through the weekend. Then we're right around. Let's just say the 60 degree mark for our next work week. More sunshine than not for the week ahead, but again, little chances of showers, which look to persist into our next work week. Overnight lows well above the freezing mark in the Yakima region right around 60 degrees through Sunday and then mid to upper 50s for our next work week. A little bit warmer as we get to Friday. So folks, hope you enjoyed the sunshine today. We're going to see much more cloud coverage for your weekend. Light showers possible tomorrow late morning into the afternoon and evening and then Sunday morning light showers followed by possibly sustained showers for the Blue Mountain region as we get to Sunday afternoon. But it is going to be warmer starting tomorrow. Oh, hey, Jack, going up? Actually, no, Justine. My famous two tacos are still just 99 cents when you order on the Jack app or online. Could you press six, please? I'm going up. Get my famous two tacos for just 99 cents, only on the Jack app or online. Smoke City for Less is your one-stop shop in Kennewick, Richland, Pasco, Hermiston, and West Richland. 
Every location is conveniently located and gives you the lowest prices and largest selection of vape mods, the best batteries, tobacco products, kratom, and specialty products too. We have something for everyone, including gift cards for any occasion. Check out the specials and deals today. Open seven days a week in five locations. Kennewick, Richland, Pasco, Hermiston, and West Richland. Smoke City for less. We smoke the competition. Uh, Stan? Who is, uh, that? Okay, Roy. I went to the basement, found a weird portal, went through, found myself in a prehistoric valley, talked to a couple dinos, told them about triple play. They wanted to check it out. Here we are. Wow! Hi, Roy. Triple Play has fun attractions for everyone, like bowling, Raptor Reef Indoor Water Park, and a brand new zip line ride, all attached to a cozy hotel. She'll leave whenever we're ready. I'm ready. What's important to me when I look for a place to work is somewhere that shares the same morals and values that I have. What attracted me to working at McCurley is just how much I do for the community. I and mean, they do a lot for Trot, Therapeutic Riding of Tri-Cities, which I have a personal connection with. My son, Caden, he has autism and he goes there. And I just was like, you know what, McCurley would be the best place for me to work. What I love most about what I do is I am a champion for my customers. I'm like, hey, I'm here to help you get into the best vehicle possible, the vehicle that works for you. And I'm gonna listen to you. Everything that you're needing, I'm gonna help you and find that for you. We care about our customers and making sure that they get into the best and safest vehicle possible. I'm Taylor Boyce and I'm driving change at McCurley. Find your way home and help make an impact in our community in a new Chevrolet from McCurley Chevrolet. Wanna drive? Really? Most of us agree our roads are safer when we put away our phones but we still have some people to reach. So spread the message. Okay. And set the example. Because that's how we make the road a safer place for you and your loved ones. Together, we get there. I just wrote a jingle for my fish sandwich. Wanna hear it? Fish, fish, fish. Look at this fish. It's wild caught Pollock from Alaska. Good thing I don't need jingles to sell my food. My fish sandwich is back for a limited time. The best way to end your day. That is good TV. Friends, tonight at 11.05. Welcome back, everyone. Saturday is World Art Day, and to celebrate the occasion, the Coyote Canyon Winery is opening up bottles of wine in its artist series for a very special tasting event. These wines display the paintings by the winery's co-owner. For this week's edition of Artbeat, Cap KVU's Jill Sperling sat down with the artist and learned about the inspiration behind her work. Vibrant paintings highlighting the region and its history are not only on the walls of Coyote Canyon Winery, but also on the wine bottles. The artist is winery co-owner Martha Nelson Andrews. Oh, I go out and I take a lot of photographs when the grapes, during all stages, have ripening on the grapes, so I have plenty of material to paint from. And um, then the history of Prosser, some of the paintings have the Prosser Bridge in them. But her greatest inspiration are the wild horses that once roamed the Horse Heaven Hills. I like to bring them back as ghost horses in the artwork. So um, the latest painting that we did is called Guardians at the Vineyard, and they're kind of racing through the vineyard where um, they used to live on the plains. The Artist Series Wines will be a part of a tasting event Saturday afternoon from noon to 4 p.m. And visitors to the winery are invited to hear about the artist's work. I think I love them all. Nelson Andrews has had a love of art since she was a little girl. My mother used to give me a pencil and paper just to shut me up. She took that passion and crafted it into a career. I went to work for the motion picture studios and for job shops and painted a lot of backgrounds, painted a lot of amusement parks. She later moved to Prosser, meeting her husband, Mike, who owned the winery. The place here was pretty bleak and so I told him he needed to do some full finishing on the walls and, you know, uh, a few murals on the walls and um, make it come alive that way. From the tables to the walls and, of course, the wine bottles, the winery is now filled with her artwork. For Cap KVU Local News, I'm Jill Sperling. 
Martha Nelson Andrews is now turning a small tasting room in downtown Prosser into an art gallery that serves wine. She'll be hosting a grand opening of the space in a few months. Riley, I think I like the one with the horses on it. What about you? Yes. That one is absolutely beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> if only I had such talent, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> You're watching Cap KV Local News at 630. A final check of your weekend forecast is after the break. Shelter out here, it's the most important thing. But the good thing is my Ford F-150 provides enough power to keep working. Get a great deal on an F-150 only at your local Ford dealer. Spring Fever Fun has arrived at Wild Horse Resort and Casino. Sizzle your way to over seven grand in cash and free play with 30,000 Spring Fever hot seats every Friday and Saturday. Plus surprise gifts during spring cleaning, swipe and win. Win up to $2,000 cash with our quick cash giveaway and $10,000 bingo April 23rd. With so many ways to win, any day can be yours. Wild Horse Resort and Casino, Pendleton, Oregon. More winners, more often. Our phones keep us constantly connected. Can you switch to airplane mode? But what if they had a mode to help us actually connect? Introducing what Us Mode, a mode that makes our phones less distracting so we can focus on quality time. So the notifications we get are the ones that matter. So we're never distracted from what's most important. Visit US Cellular in-store or online to set up Us Mode for free, even if you're not a customer. US Cellular, built for us. Make your first move with battery power made by steel. Right now, save $50 on the FSA 57 battery trimmer. Real steel. Find yours. At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now through June 30th, receive rebates up to $2,100 off on a new Dyke and Fit system when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. That sound. Wolves. Boy, they sound hungry. Load up, wolves! Good thing this Ford Explorer has Sync 3 technology. Keeps them entertained on the way to dinner. Get a great deal on an Explorer, only at your local Ford dealer. Portion of Cap KV sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Welcome back, everyone. Before we go into your final weekend forecast, if you missed any of the newscasts or would like to see some of our more in-depth online articles, you can use our mobile app. All you have to do is snap a picture with your smartphone, scanning that QR code. It's also at the bottom of your screen all throughout the shows. The code will take you right to our app for news and weather on demand. It is free to download and there are no subscription fees. Now here's Jason with a final check of your weekend forecast. All right, let's get you ready for your Saturday. Warmer conditions and we will see some sunshine, especially in the mid Columbia, but just keep an eye out for those quick shower showerlets, let's just say late morning into the afternoon and evening. A little more cloud coverage for Yakima highs right around the average lower 60s. Again, folks, we will be warmer for the entirety of your weekend before cooling off in our next work week. Walla Walla should be seeing a little bit more cloud coverage as the day goes on mid 60s and in Ellensburg upper 50s. It's been uh, Ellensburg steadily warming up as the week has gone on into our Saturday. More cloud coverage starting at noon. So spotty showers tomorrow. And again, folks, a little bit more sustained showers Sunday afternoon for the Blue Mountain region and possibly the mid Columbia. Have a great weekend. All right. Thank you so much for watching. We're back tonight at 11 o'clock.